of this bar near the railroad tracks in the winter. And he would go in there and he would drink all night. And he would leave those little kids, I'm talking about little kids, sitting there. And every time I ride past that place, I think about it. So my mother is, is so against drinking. And my dad never was a drinker. Like it made him sick as a teenager and he just never drank. He never did. And, um, and my ex-husband wasn't a drinker. I didn't think he was. Drinking takes people's lives down. It ruins their lives. My ex-husband lost his uh, very prestigious job at the Marriott because he was written up on sexual harassment charges. It was all over the papers here. This was when I was a teacher. It was, that's a story I don't think I've ever told because I don't tell things like that, that where he couldn't defend himself, you know, but he really did that. That's a fact. And um, he was pulled upon police charges and basically this happened because he was drunk on the golf course. And I had no idea he was cheating on me all those years. I mean, I'm talking about dozens and dozens of women who eventually he chose one of those, a very young girl, and he's married to her now. And guess what? Thank God that's made me the woman I am today. I have no remorse. I have no black spots. I have no hatred for him. I only have love. only love because love's all that matters but that drinking you'll never hear me say that's that's okay that's health promoting if they want to do that that's their choice just like eating toxic food it destroys you it really does and you know what what alcohol does to the body how it basically shuts down the digestion, it shuts down. Your body has to use all its internal forces to try to combat the poison. Poison is what it is. But um, it takes people's lives. We can heal ourselves, Margaret. And we can create our world. I've been thinking that the last few days when it's been dark here, but now I see the sun coming up. And I've been thinking, oh, it's dark today, but the light's coming. Something's coming in this year. Trust me, I feel it. Something is on the arise. Is it you? Is it your different world? Anyway, I wanted to share that and I would love, love to see your homework. If you did not do the if then homework, please do that and please share it with us because as you see, like for example, um, Camp Karen's is just the one I just read right before I'm talking to y'all, but, but didn't you see where she was like, um, if I'm hungry, that's not an emergency. <clears throat> you know, if I'm stressed out and tired, how about this? Instead of eating, is eating Stressed out, eating. Does that match? Stressed out, breathing. Stressed out, meditating. Stressed out, watch the birds in your feeder. Stressed out, turn on some John Denver. That's a match. How about Tired, exhausted, overwhelmed, eating? Is that a match? No, that's not a match. Stressed out or tired? 
resting, breathing, decompress by decluttering. Have a little zone you go to. A house I had a few a few houses back, not the the last one. I, my whole family lived in with me, but um, the one before that, I had this little corner, and um, I had a little rocking chair there, and in the china cabinet beside it, um, that my mommy had given me, it was, it was something she had, uh, were my health books. And I, when I would feel overwhelmed by the world because no one understood. People aren't going to understand. They don't need to. I will pull out those books. And I was sitting there in my little corner of the world for two or three minutes. I would set my kids up on something, you know. Maybe I would let Christopher have his few minutes of computer time. He liked to play this Jimmy Neutron game or um, Finding Waldo game. And I would get those, there was these little packs you could get at the library and they had um, uh, computer CDs and I would rent those at the library. And then if, if Christopher didn't like to do homework and different stuff like that, and um, if he got all these things done, then he could choose one of those DVDs and he could play for 30 minutes. That was his reward. So once he got everything done, he would do that. And I would have Carly in the kitchen. She would be up on her stool and she would be, she was like my sous chef. She would be prepping veggies and stuff. And why she did that is she loved to do it by herself. She's very independent. She was always like, uh, no, no, mommy, I do it self. I do it self. And when he was, Christopher was little, she was like, no, no, mommy, I tend him. I tend him. Anyway, so I, I would get them set up on something and I would take my 10 minutes. And I stopped dealing with stress and overwhelm and tired with food because that wasn't a match. And I replaced it. If, then. Always, sometimes, never. You see? Stressed, make a choice that will deal with the issue, not a food choice to stuff that into the back of your mind. Temporary ignorance versus productive action. Abby, yes. Listen, people in a situation feel their self up with food F-I-L-L -L. what they need to do is feel the moment F-E-E-L in, in an emotion instead of filling yourself up with everything else F-I-L-L. -L. You feel into the moment and deal with the emotion. F-E-E-L. Right? Sometimes you can't solve a problem at the moment. So you mentally put it in your little wicker basket. You put the top on it. <laughs> 